This is Bob Capetta from the College of the Florida Keys, and this lesson is on determinants. So a determinant is a number that we obtain from a square matrix. If we have a two by two matrix, so two rows, two columns, the determinant of that matrix defined by A, B, C, D is A times D minus B times C. Multiply one way minus multiply the other way. So if I have the determinant of 3, negative 2, 4, 7, multiply 3 times 7 minus negative 2 times 4. So 3 times 7 is 21, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. 21 minus negative 8 is 21 plus 8, or 29. So the determinant of that matrix is 29. If I have the determinant of negative 1, 6, 3, 5, again, you start in the upper left corner. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. 3 times 6 is 18. And we subtract negative 5 minus 18, and we get our result of negative 23. Now, 2 by 2 matrices are relatively easy. 3 by 3 matrices are considerably more challenging. What we need to do is we need to put a plus minus plus across the top. So it's plus 1 times some 2 by 2 matrix, minus 3 times some 2 by 2 matrix, plus negative 2 times some 2 by 2 matrix. These matrices are called the minors. Notice plus 1 times some determinant of some matrix, minus 3 times determinant of some matrix, plus negative 2. Plus, minus, plus. Now what is the, mat the, what is the minor for plus 1? 1 is where I'm starting. It's here in the first row, first column. Cross out the row 1 is in. Cross out the column that 1 is in. What remains? 5, negative 1, 6, 2. That is the minor corresponding to 1. Plus 1 times the determinant. Cross out the column, cross out the row. 5, negative 1, 6, 2. Now it goes minus 3 times his minor. Cross out the row 3 is in, cross out the column. What's left is 4, negative 1, negative 3, 2. That's the minor corresponding to 3 with the sign of minus because it goes plus, minus, plus across the top. Plus negative 2, we need to determine that minor. Cross out the row that negative 2 is in. Cross out the column that negative 2 is in. And we have 4, 5, negative 3, 6. So now we need to do the 2 by 2 matrices and multiply them by this multiplier in front. So notice 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. 10 minus negative 6 times 1. Minus 3 times 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3, 8 minus 3, plus negative 2 times 6 times 4 is 24, minus negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So you'll notice we get 10 minus 6 is 4 times 1, minus 3 times 5, plus negative 2 times 24 minus negative 15 is 24 plus 15, or 39. So 1 times 16 minus 3 times 5, plus negative 2 times 39, we get 16 minus 15 minus 38, should be minus 78, which will of course give us negative 77. So the determinant for that 3 by 3 matrix is equal to negative 77. And let's do one more. Another 3 by 3 matrix, remember you've got to have plus minus plus across the top. So it's plus this number, plus negative 2 times his minor, minus 1 times his minor, plus 5 times his minor plus negative 2, minus 1, plus 5, plus negative 2, minus 1, plus 5. The minor for negative 2, cross out the row, cross out the column, we get 3, 4, 2, 7. For negative 1, cross out, or minus 1, cross out the column, cross out the row, 0, 4, negative 1, 7. And for the 5, cross out the column, cross out the row, 0, 3, negative 1, 2. Now we've got to actually evaluate the 2 by 2 determinants. This is 21 minus 8. This one is 0 minus negative 4. 0 times 7 is 0. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 0 minus negative 4 would be positive 4, but there's a minus 1 here, so be careful. And then 2 minus negative 3. Check that. 
0 times 2 is 0 minus negative 3. So 21 minus 8 is 13. 13 times negative 2 minus 1 times 0 minus negative 4. So minus 1 times 4. And then plus 5 times 3. So we get negative 26 minus 4 plus 15. Put all that together. And what do we get? That, of course, is negative 30 plus 15 or negative 15. And that will conclude this lesson.